if you had enough money to build your dream house. What's a strange room slash feature you'd include? An indoor swimming pool in the underground floor with a sink screen on all four sides and normal underwater sound system. I love swimming. I love watching movies and series. Imagine watching Jaws in a pool. Absolutely a secret beautiful bathroom just for me. I don't know what it is but I just really value bathroom time and the luxury of getting washed and relaxing and getting ready in a big beautiful marble bathroom. But nobody else can use it. Like the secret bathroom in B99. Yo. Have a normal raggedy ass bathroom for your guests or whatever. But have a secret door that leads to your real bathroom. That way people don't try and spy poop in your private bathroom. Definitely have a secret entrance 100%. It's not that strange. But I think an irrationally large number of decisions in my life have been motivated by the desire to eventually have a study with high ceilings and floor to ceiling bookshelves so I can have one of those ladder things that sits against the shelf and have it be justified. I would add an octopus tank but I think they live like two years tops and having to bury a pet Biennelli seems depressing. Undefined. 1. I'm not going to eat my pets. 2. As a former fishmonger. Please do not eat seafood that has died of old age. Not gonna taste good. One of those latter things that sits against the shelf and have it be justified. Just said the same thing in my comment. I think I'd just get on it and will myself around. I'll need a secret room behind one of the bookcases that leads to a second library. That is where all my favorite first editions and fine bindings will be. There will also be a nice wing back chair and a side table with a bottle of something to sip on while I read. I may also need a guillotine for those who decide it is okay to bother me in my private library. Guillotine wouldn't be enough. I'd feed them to the octopus. Which explains the need for an octopus tank. Win-win. I really want one of those natural bathrooms. That looks like you just walked into a jungle. Everything is stone and steam and plants and sounds of a waterfall. Or one of those open staircases where the back wall is completely glass and there's a leafy garden under the stairs. Basically just a tropical oasis for plants. I once stayed at a hotel with river stone tiles on the shower floor and it was glorious. So I share your dream about those kinds of bathrooms. How do you clean that? You pay someone else to do it? I was gonna say. My dream house definitely includes someone to clean it for me lol. Professional kitchen. Hoods. Stainless steel everything. Floors on a one slant and one whole wall is a drain. The works. A friend of mine has something similar to this. Except the whole room slants toward the island where the drain is located in the tiled toe kick. He can soak his floor and mop everything into the drain. Hit a button to have whatever was in there chewed up via some sort of mulcher. If you didn't know it was there. It just looks like a nice kitchen with some professional appliances. The floor drain has a disposal? That's a damn good idea. Until it breaks. Depending on how it's installed. It can be a hefty repair bill. Sometimes it's effectively a remodel. My father built our house with wall panels. Passages and false ceilings not the crappy kind found in offices for exactly that reason. Most of the electrical and plumping was accessible anywhere in the house without having to tear anything out. Of course. After he passed away. We had a pipe burst in the one damn place he didn't include an access panel. Under the bathtub. Maybe it was him reminding you one more time to put an access panel everywhere. And that's why you always have an access panel. Man who just lost his arm. A sensory deprivation room. With built-in flow tank. Steam shower. Cool rain shower. Yeah. This. 
the best naps I've ever had were in a float tank. Being able to do that at home would be amazing. I've done a few sensory DEP floats. And loved it each time. First time I tried it was truly a day of experimentation. Earlier that day. I consumed an Aria cookie milkshake with cricket flour added. Pretty tasty. I need more people with this kind of energy in my life. A moat. No one has a moat anymore. Do you not want to talk to people? Pull up the drawbridge. And in the winter you have your own personal skating rink. 100% would turn into a lazy river in the summer. This person gets it? Definitely one of those huge showers with the water coming from all directions and a bench for a steam room situation. Add some good speakers in there for blasting tunes. And then a jacuzzi tub for comfortable baths. And to top it off. A state-of-the-art Japanese toilet with all the bells and whistles. A bench for a steam room situation. The home I bought with my ex had a complete sauna slash steam set up. I loved it. Went in three to four times a week during the winter. Never got a cold. Got a job that took me away from home for a month. I came back to find out she'd converted it into a storage room. So that's why she's an ex. Slides. Slides all over the house to get you from any room down to the living room or den. Undefined. The most common comment was that for those of us who would like to have a house full of slides, we should visit City Museum in St. Louis. So that's probably something I'll do. We got a VRBO once with a slide. Which the kids loved until we noticed the connections between slide segments were ripping the seats of their pants. Worst. Meltdown. Ever. I don't know how it only happened to me but I went to the water slides with a bunch of friends and one of the slides we went on beeped my back up. I wasn't bleeding thankfully but the ridges of the slide cut into the back of my shoulders that were against the slide so I had nice cut marks on my back that just didn't break the skin. Hurt quite a bit. My wife finally convinced me to ride the water slide at our local water park. She worked there the last summer and knew the maintenance guys. They worked hard and were proud of the safety record. So she finally convinced my fat ass to ride the slide. Did you know that if you are fat? You go faster downhill? Who knew? Anyway. I hit the high speed turn at really high speed. This has me riding the top edge of the slide. You know the part that curves over to keep you from flying out. To the point that when I came out of the turn and there was no longer a top edge. I was no longer on the slide. Thankfully I landed face down on the slide thanks to momentum carrying me over in an arch across the slide. But landing face first and breaking my nose was not fun. Got flipped over just before I hit the outlet pool. But I was moving so fast I schemed over the surface and hit the end of the pool with my knees before I could stand up and stop myself. So I stood there. Nose pouring blood. Bruising already showing on my knees and shoulders from the hits. I later learned I also had an awesome red burn rash down my back from the plastic slide and stood staring at my wife. Who was laughing her ass off while everyone else was worried. She yells out what? Never seen a man get beat up by a slide before. I love that woman. She brought me a funnel cake and a kiss to apologize. Life pro tip. If you are tall and fat. And shaped like a pear. Don't ride water slides. I haven't been on a water slide since. Life pro tip. If you are tall and fat. And shaped like a pear. Don't ride water slides. Rookie mistake. Everyone know pears are built for ultimate speed. I'm 6 feet 4 inches so a custom part of a kitchen counter that can be raised and lowered so I can cut things without feeling like I'm turning into the hunchback of Notre Dame. My husband is 6 7 and I'm 5 4. Adjustable countertops would be fantastic. All things considered. 
there are hybrid standing desks that do this electronically. I feel like it could be done. But it would likely be more of a kitchen island kind of thing. A bedroom. A room that is just a giant bed second or third story of the house surrounded by windows with a glass ceiling slash skylights. I used to want a glass ceiling but then I realized it would be a bitch to clean any time there was pollen or bird poop. If you have infinite money there's gotta be some way you could add some sort of cleaning system on the glass. Maybe just a big windshield wiper with some cleaning solution lol. I'm thoroughly enjoying the image of a gigantic windshield wiper on my bedroom ceiling. What about a thin constant high pressure layer of water that is invisible? Because the flow rate is perfect. It would just wash away bird poop immediately and pollen and dust wouldn't be an issue. Oh.